What's up beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to provide you your June energy reading. Beautiful Libra. Yes, I'm going to do you first because you are my biggest supporters and because I'm a Libra myself too. So let's just tune into this energy. It has been a very interesting month. can say like it has been a very interesting year overall, but it has been a very interesting month to say the least too. Um, or you can use this reading for your sun, moon or rising of course, or if you're cross watching for a loved one. Saying hi from the Netherlands here. We're going to tune in. It's going to be a general reading. We're going to look at the general energy that I'm going to pick up on. We're going to look at work. We're going to look at um, relationships. We're going to look at health a little bit. And also your spiritual development or whatever you need to know in energy spiritually wise. So to say. Okay, let's just tune in. Let's get the team, the team ready. The team for the month of June for my beautiful fellow Libras. Oh, you gonna love this. Happy ending. Oh my God. The team is happy ending for this month. And uh, the number is 93. So what I'm feeling here is uh, beautiful Libras. You will be finishing off or ending a cycle. Yes, I know we have been ending cycles for quite a time now. Um, but I kind of feel like um, you have been amidst ending the cycle for a pretty long time and every now and then you thought, okay, I'm out of it and then something creep back up. I kind of feel like um, this month, in the month of June, you will get your... Um, I had a word in my mind, but um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but you will get your reward. You will get something that's been long overdue. Right? I kind of feel like you have been trying, working, working, you have been doing all this good, you've been helping, you've been working on yourself. There's a lot of things that you have been doing or a lot of things that you've been wondering about that you have been trying to change. And some of you Libras have been given up hope. I'm hearing Libras in moon sign have been given up hope. I don't know why, but especially Libras in the moon sign, clearly, uh, or Libras with a moon sign and Libra. Is that the same thing? Okay, whatever. Um, have been giving up hope. Um, and what I'm looking at, what I'm hearing the moon sign, I kind of feel like it has a lot to do with our inner emotions. So I feel like our inner emotions have been all over the place and kindly, finally things are going to settle down a little bit more and you will get some sort of um, aha moment or uh, um, a reward on your path in the month June um, where you will finally be feeling like, oh my God, um, things are going to change like Fully, even though I thought like um, um, you did the inner work, but the outer world didn't show it straight away for a lot of Libras. And I feel like now you will be shown um, that things are definitely changing for you for the better, though. Let me see. We got take a risk here. So with this card here, it's a Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing uh, with a Capricorn when it comes to um, something that you need to have a happy ending with. Could be in a relationship wise, could also be having an issue with a Capricorn. Um, I hope I pronounced it right though. But um, with a Capricorn and that being fixed or that changing, but you need to make, I don't want to say you need to make a first step again, Libra, because I know a lot of Libras have been like, I think that's our MO, right? <laughs> Taking the first step, being the forgiving one. Um, but I kind of feel like you need to take a little bit of a risk here and go into a different direction. Do something totally different than you used to before and a trust on your intuition there. I also feel um, um, that there's something that's going to create more harmony and more balance for you, Libra, this month, if you dare to take a risk. Might be an investment that you need to make or it might be all about work or getting more stability or more organized in your whatever you're doing. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm feeling. That's interesting though. So let's see, the ge general cards for the general months. Oh, I feel like I need to sneeze the entire time. And I don't have a classy sneeze. <laughs> okay, let me see. Oh, Libra, thank you. One more. And then two of these. Okay, yes. Libra, we got the Ace of Cups for you. We got the Page of Wands. It came reversed. And we got the Star cards. And then we got the Hermits. 
and we got the three of cups so uh we got two major arcana cards for our general reading um the energy that i'm picking up on let, let's start here what i'm feeling here is that i think in the month of may already you have been aligning a lot of what you're doing, what you're feeling, what you how, which direction you want to move into, how your relationships are looking, um, and you're trying to align them to what your heart is telling you. I feel like a lot of Libras have been overthinking a couple of situations because we are thinkers, of course. Uh, we are feelers too, but we are air signs, so we are thinkers. And I kind of feel like um, we are trying or starting to integrate the thoughts and the feelings and the heart and logic and, 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 and feeling and logic and intuition in one and operate from that perspective. Um, I feel like we have a lot more, um, I want to say boundaries, more clarity, uh, more strength um, for the upcoming months. I kind of feel like there is this wave coming over us. And although I feel, I got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm recording this when... Um, the world is really be like a little bit shaky. There's a lot of stuff going on uh, when it comes to injustice, when it comes to old old pain and an old trauma of a, of an of a, a people of color that has been uh, suppressing them um and it has been uh, buried and we needed to be silent about silent about it and we needed to like work through it and we needed to heal ourselves but healing yourself in the, in um healing yourself in the same situation that made you sick is nearly impossible um so i feel that there might be a lot of libras also because libras are very sensitive that are feeling this vibe and that are feeling this energy and even though it's a heartbreaking energy and it's a grieving energy i also feel like there is something special happening underneath it something long overdue something that we had to wait for for a very long time i know like the way the stars are set up at this point that um and you need to ask your astrology people um, for their precise measurements but I know that there was a, a, a time back when there were the same the, the stars were stations the same way stations the same way and the same type of things started happening um, but I kind of feel like we as a people as a as a collective were not ready yet and I feel like we are ready now um, and we, you can bring this message back to your own life, to your personal life too. Oh, interesting. To your personal life too. Um, what I'm feeling here is you need to be focusing upon healing the heart, letting things go, letting grief out, letting emotions go, letting emotions flow. Don't bottle them up. Don't push them back inside. Don't think like you cannot be angry or you cannot be sad or you just want to be happy. And, and therefore you are ignoring or suppressing your own emotions let them go, let them free, let them be, work through them, be with them, um, but don't become them, right? Um, then we got the page of wands, and to me, this card, when I'm looking at this, how this card is set up, I feel, always feel like this card is all about movement, motion, but also impulsive motion, also like Focusing up some, focusing upon something, and just like throwing it out there and and trusting, and that's what I'm feeling here too for your month. I kind of feel like things will be set in motion, especially with the star card here too. I kind of feel like you will be taking inspired action. You will be stepping into your light more, or you will be bringing your purpose closer to your heart. Um, but I do feel a lot of Libras will be. Um, uh, will be retreating or will be uh, focusing upon doing the inner work um, in order to get some clarity on something new coming up or something new popping up. I kind of feel like this might be in the beginning or the, the, yeah, the first half, the first half of June, there might be something new popping up that is asking you to use your wisdom, your your intuition, your follow your heart. Um, but therefore, in order to follow that passion, I kind of feel like it might be something really where you, something you're really passionate about. Um, it's not necessarily something bad. I kind of feel like it's something that is possibly a life changing something. <laughs> that sounds strange. A life changing possibility door relationship something is popping up that is very important for you we got the tree of uh, cups here too so i kind of feel like there also might be this 
um, uh, thing happening with friendship. We have happy, happy ending here. I kind of feel like there might be this thing happening here for you also with friendships um, or something that you need to celebrate. But I kind of feel like it might be both. So when it comes to friendships, I kind of feel like there's something important that you have to say that needs to get out there. Um, it's really important for you to follow your own intuition and to not let yourself be stopped by anybody, not by friends, not by family, not by people that you care about. As long as it makes your heart thick and as long as it's important for you, follow that dream, follow that direction, right? And then I also feel like with the happy ending, you have a lot to celebrate. I want you to share your celebrations. I want you to share these new profound thoughts, ideas, feeling state of being with your friends or the people that you love or care about um yes there is a lot of dreams coming into reality but you you gotta stay focused that's what i'm feeling you gotta stay focused i kind of did this a lot longer than i was planning to um right here let's see so let's move on to relationships we're going to look into relationships. This could be love relationships. This could be friendships. This could be business relationships. Could be your soulmate, twin flame, family. Could be anybody. But let's see what happen. What's happening in the month of June when it comes to our relationships? We got um, in Dutch. Do er moeite voor? <laughs> Diepe liefde is het waard dat je de nodige stappen neemt. It says. Um, do so, take some take some effort. Take some effort. True love is worth that you take the necessary steps to get it into a better place. And then we got number nine. We got well-deserved reward. Look at let look at this person being all high up on that pillar there. So what I'm feeling here is um, there might be something in your relationships or some, you might be disappointed in someone. You might be disappointed in your relationship or in a friendship or even in maybe all areas in relationships. You might be disappointed at, some, for, at someone or because of someone's lack of giving you something or responding to you or there, there is something where you kind of feel i kind of feel like you're disappointed and you're kind of like mm, i don't know um you're wondering should i take the first step should i shouldn't take the first step is this relationship worth saving um yes this is the case the relationship is worth saving that's this is what the card is saying and i feel like when you do when you take the first steps step you will be ending um a cycle with this person and um you will get your well-deserved reward that doesn't mean for everyone that this means that a relationship is going to be saved i feel some libras um will not be saving that relationship but will be ending that relationship and moving on and there will be a reward waiting for you at the end of that closure um also if you do have a relationship and you're not disappointed in your partner i kind of feel like you need to put a little bit more effort towards the towards your partner or you might be dealing with a situation where you need to um um I want to I wanna say this. You need to thank your partner for their efforts. Yes, I'm just going to say it like that. I want to say something else closely like that, but different words. Uh, let me see. We're going to work. Work, business, finances, career, energy for my beautiful Libras. Let's see what we got. Is this one? No, these are two cards that they stick together. Okay, we got voice. Then we got clear, uh, crystal clear intentions. And it says, Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. And then we got all is well. Beautiful card. It says, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to be. What hidden blessings in you will soon understand. So beautiful Libra, what I'm feeling here when it comes to work, business, all that type of stuff. I kind of feel like it's very important for you to let your voice be heard. Don't back down. If you have a good idea, if you have something that you need to change in the business or on the work field or something that you need to discuss, don't shy, like don't shy away from it. Don't don't be the person that is going to be all humble up on your, in your seat and just be like, mm, I'm, I will let them do their thing. I kind of feel like it's very important for you to let yourself be heard and especially Especially when you know something or when you have a, an improvement or when you have a beautiful idea um, I want you to voice that I want you to voice your opinion I want you to use it also to, to, to set healthy boundaries but I also feel like um, when it comes to, especially I feel like there will be a lot of ideas business new business ideas coming through for Libras um, 
I feel like um, uh, some of you might be following your dream job or might be getting a possibility to get their dream job or dream position, uh, better position. Um, but you need to let your voice be heard. Otherwise, people will not see you. You need to be exposing yourself. Um, you need to be seen. And I know there's a lot of people that have an issue with being seen. I was one of them too. Um, but... Um, in order to do what you're supposed to do and in order to have what you want to have, sometimes you need to expose yourself and sometimes you need yourself, let yourself be seen. Otherwise, it will not be working. And whatever you're doing is going to end up well. Um, there might be some like bumps in the road. There might be some obstacles. But I feel like these obstacles are actually mer merely um, um, gifts in the sky, if I can say it like that. Gifts in disguise, disguise, disguise. Yeah, um, they're actually hidden gifts. <laughs> Let's say it like that. They're actually hidden gifts. Your um, work life looks good this month. Beautiful Libra. Change is coming though. Some of you might be ending a job and getting something new back in return. Let's look at... Oh, health. Let's do health. Okay. Let's do health. Your health. Physical, emotional, mental, spiritual health. Beautiful Libra. Okay, we got surrender obsessive thinking. The card says, if you're obsessed, uh, obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity and even solve the problem. Then we got a juggling. And the card uh, it says, results, development, fruit, pain, re pain reliever, protection, good luck, um, energy, and positive energy. Charge? Charge. Yes. So... What I'm feeling here when it comes to your health, beautiful Libra, I feel like you've been managing a lot of things, might be juggling a lot of things, job, business, or household, children, self-care, lover, um, and I know Libras are givers, um, so I kind of feel like some of you Libras might be running on low reserves, and it's not time for you to recharge. Um, if you have been focusing up on recharging, you might be starting to feel, or this month of June will be giving you like a, a full battery to work on. Um, positive energy will be helping you move forward. I feel like new searches of energy will be coming in. No matter if you are running on low battery or your battery is to totally, totally full, sorry. Um, um, no matter what's the case, I feel like there's new surge waves coming in with a lot of positive energy some at some point you will feel very heightened i feel like a lot of libras might be having issues sleeping there's might be a lot of things running in your mind ideas running in your mind um uh, libra also when it comes i kind of feel like this is has a lot to do with mental health but that can move over into um into physical health so if you're not taking care of your thoughts your thought patterns keeping them positive making sure you your spiral is going upwards instead of downwards, like expanding instead of distract, uh, it, um, contracting. Um, positive thoughts instead of negative thoughts. Um, as long as you're doing that, I feel like you will be in a very good place. I kind of feel like, um, I don't know why I'm getting Snow White in my mind, like eating the apple and the apple being poisoned. I kind of feel like your poison this month will be overthinking. And if you start too much overthinking and if you're if you're unable to let go and release for a moment and just trust, I feel like you will be having some physical issues connected to that. So let's see what your spiritual message is going to be all about, Libra. Your spiritual message for the month of June. Okay, we got wait. It's not time yet. This is a beautiful card, isn't it? Things are things are being woven. And then we got Council of Light. And it says, uh, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So what I'm feeling for you when it comes to your um, spiritual life, beautiful Libra. I kind of feel like your spiritual team is working in the background to get something ready for you. Like It might start or happen at the end of June or it might be after, um, I want to say September, after September. I don't want after September, but after September. I kind of feel like you need to reach out, make the first step and trust that everything else will fall in place. Don't make any drastic decisions when it comes to your relationship or when it comes to something very big. 
unless you're starting a business or unless you're investing in something. I feel like this is the energy for Libras is very good to do something business wise or invest in something. But when it comes to relationships, uh, family, love relationships, I kind of feel like you need to let the natural flow of things let things play out. <laughs> I know the wording was really wrong with that. I also feel like you are not alone. Not just the subtle helpers. Your, your spirit guys, angels, ascendant masters are helping you. I kind of feel that there will be an angel in disguise. Maybe a human being helping you forward. Giving you some gems. Giving you some tools. Or um, whoever this is, stick with this person. Whoever this is that is making you change something in a positive direction or giving you your light back or helping you find your power or healing, whoever that is, stick to that person. I kind of feel like um, if you ride along with them on the wave, and it sounds really like freeloading type of energy, but that's not what I mean. If you stick with them and make sure the relationship is a win-win, I kind of feel like this person can bring you a, like a far. This person can bring you far as into upgrading your life and reaching a level that you've been seeking for let it be someone that is inspiring you already motivating you already not someone um um that isn't <laughs> you gotta it, it has to feel good straight away that's what i'm feeling libra so beautiful libras i want to thank you for tuning in for your monthly energy reading let me know down below in the comments if you liked your reading and if you did give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends family i would love it i will be very grateful for it um for now i'm going to send you just so much love and good energy and i'll be sending that to you all in waves because i kind of feel like we all need it and i hope to see you pretty soon bye